Today's outdoor adventure is gonna be with the DJI Spark. So if you have a Spark, you're gonna love this video. If you've got a Mavic Air, you're gonna love this video. And if you have a Mavic Pro, you're gonna love this video because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna test out a little device that can make your Mavic Pro, Mavic Air, and your Spark go farther. And not only farther, but also be a little less susceptible to interference. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the Spark and I'm gonna fly it behind me. See these trees? I'm gonna fly behind these trees and I'm gonna drop the Spark down below the trees. And then I'm gonna to try to fly the Spark to the end of the trees on the other side. Now, what should happen is the Spark should not be able to do that because the Wi-Fi in the Spark is eh, so-so. So I'm expecting that the reception won't be that great and I'll probably lose video signal, whatnot. So when that happens, then I'm gonna put on my little device that's gonna boost the range of the Spark. And you can also use it for the Mavic Air and the Mavic Pro, and we'll see if it actually works. Here we go. Here I have my lovely green Spark and the controller. Now we all know that they connect together by Wi-Fi. So the Spark is sending out a Wi-Fi signal to the controller and back and forth. So what happens when you put something in between them like this is the signal then gets broken. So that's the problem with Wi-Fi. It's not a solid signal. Things can really interrupt it. So what my plan is, is when the spark and the controller go behind an object like this, then we have to make them a little bit more sensitive to the signal coming out of the spark. And the way we do that is with this here little device that was sent to me by Hobby and RC, and it just opens up and look what's inside. There's a little sticker. Tear this off before you use. Okay, I gotta take that off before I use it. But all you have to do with this is slide it over your antenna and voila, what's gonna happen is the signal that bounces from your spark, it hits this reflective material and it's gonna bounce it against your antenna. So you should get, obviously it works for range. I've used these back in the days of the Phantom 2 and the Phantom 3 and they do work. Should actually work too for when you have obstacles in the way to make sure that your signal is a lot more uh, solid. So we're gonna try it here and see what happens. All right, we're all set to go. Hit record on here, get the spark going. Oop, the wind is taking it. It's going sideways a bit. Come on back this way, Spark. You should be sitting right there. It's a little bit of an angle. The wind's got it. All right, let's go. Take it up. I'm just gonna put it in sport mode so we can do this fast. Go really quick. Get up to about 25. There we go. As long as I'm above the trees, because I don't want to crash into the trees, uh, 30 meters is good. All right. So now let's fly out to about 150 meters, 200 meters. Wow, that, that goes so fast when it's on sport mode. Now, these antennas, whoa. The drone is doing something weird, I don't know. Whoa, now I've lost image transition, two weak antennas. Okay, keep that straight. I'm at 182 meters. Let's put it in normal mode. Let's spin it around. My whole horizon is kind of wonky here. Okay, so there's the forest. Well, at least I can still turn it, so I've still got connection. So now I'm gonna bring it down to about, uh, let's say 15 meters above the ground. Oh, see, I'm getting that image transmission is weak and I've got the antennas both pointing straight up. It's right there. We're at 16 meters. Bring the camera up so I can see what I'm doing. It's a little jerky if I go left and right. That's okay. All right, so there's no way this is gonna be able to fly to the end of the trees, behind the trees. So I'm gonna put the, this thing on right now. All right, let's put this on and see what happens. Get you on there. Now, it's not, if these were bigger and could gather more information, that would be better, but they're pretty small. We'll see what happens. Do I see any difference? Okay, <clears throat> GPS pops up. So I'm getting the, GPS signal more, and it's staying more, staying more solid. So let's see if I can fly to the end of the trees with this, these boosters on. All right, where are we? Let's go. I don't want to fly into the tree, so I'm just going to aim the way. So now the problem with the spark is where the antennas on the spark are located, and where I'm located, and where the controller is pointing, they all have to match up nicely. But I'm actually getting, like the spark should not be able to fly this far. So it's actually doing okay. I'm still going, which is pretty cool. Let's put it on, nah, I was gonna say, let's put it on sport. Actually, let's put it on sport. And let's see if I can get to the end 
with the signal. Here we go. Don't fly into a tree because I can't see anything. It says, image is too weak. And I no signal. I don't even know. Oh, look at that. I've bounced. So I lost the signal there. I'm pointing this way. I have no idea. It should be flying that way. Whoa. Hey, it's still connected. Okay, this is good. I'm still connected here. So I made it to the end of the forest, it looks like. That's pretty decent because that tree is the end of the forest. I'm going to just bring it. Look around. Well, this is decent. I can actually turn it. There's no way I should be able to do that. So these boosters are working. All right, let's bring it back up. I'm at... Uh, signal lost. I must have turned it too far left or right. So here we go. It is going up in the air. It's on automatically on return to home, I would imagine. Although I didn't see anything. It says return to home. Yeah, here we go. It says compass error, move aircraft or calibrate compass. Well, I really can't do too much with moving the aircraft. Can't really calibrate the compass when it's in the air. I don't know, what was DJI thinking when they put that in? Are you flying above me? Yes, you are, you're up there. So all I can say is as the spark is coming down, something this small and with these antennas, you're really not gonna increase your range too much, but you will get more range, 100% guaranteed for obstacles in your way. If you put these on, well, then you have to make sure that you're pointing your controller at your drone, no matter where it is, because you see the signal comes and it collects here in the back and bounces back on your antenna. It cannot come this way and try to get to your antenna because it can't get to your antenna. So if your drone is behind you and you have these on, you're gonna get less range. You have to turn it in the direction of your drone. And as you saw in my test here, this did work well for interference. I was losing signal, and as soon as I put these on, I actually got enough signal to fly the drone behind the trees all the way to the end of the forest down there before I totally lost connection. So it did give me extra distance with interference. So all in all, a good product. Check it out, I'll put the links below and see if it's something you like. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button because I got lots more drones and videos coming. Thanks for watching. Stay.